tropical rainforests are famous for being thick, tangled masses of vegetation. But in this one in Peru, there are mysterious clearings where only one or at most two kinds of trees will grow. The local people call such places as this devil's gardens and believe that spirits kill other kinds of trees. And the real killers of those trees, well, they've only just been discovered. The leaves of the surviving trees all have these swellings on their stems and going in and out are armies of tiny, tiny ants. The swellings are their homes, specially developed for them by the tree. And in them, safe from predators, the ants keep their eggs and larvae. They even keep domestic livestock, white scale insects, which, like aphids, supply the ants with drinks of honeydew. Producing this accommodation also benefits the tree, for the ants provide their landlord with a valuable service. They guard it against its enemies. All kinds of insects will eat a plant's leaves, given the chance. But they don't get a chance, not on this tree. So the caterpillar goes elsewhere. This is a more formidable leaf muncher, a kind of giant grasshopper several thousand times bigger than any individual ant. That's not so easy to shift. But it does have a weak spot. If you can say that any insect has a heel, then this one has an Achilles heel. And the ants seem to know it. Enough is enough. The ants not only repel their hosts' animal enemies, they also, perhaps more remarkably, keep competing plants at bay. A squad of them leaves the barracks and sets out on one of their regular patrols of the neighbourhood. They found a newly sprouted sapling Perhaps it's grown from one of their landlord's seeds, in which case, all well and good. But this one hasn't. It's an intruder. They go into action, biting its stems. Reinforcements arrive. Hundreds of tiny jaws cut into its stems. The sapling begins to wilt. But bites alone are not enough for the ants to achieve their ends. They lift their abdomens and inject formic acid into the crippled plant's wounds. The poison spreads through the plant's tissues, hastening its death. And within a few days of being comprehensively stung, all these plants are dead. And the ants, or the devils, have extended their garden still further. But the benefit of this drastic gardening, of course, is not restricted to the plants. The ants also profit. They have ensured that their plant landlord can extend its territory without competition. And that provides them with more homes, so they too can increase their numbers.